Hi everyone, my name is Johnny from Lulu's and today we're going to be talking about important facts you should know before getting your conch pierced. Fact number one is never start with the ring. So when you get piercings, obviously majority of the internet's filled up with conch piercings with the ring. Unfortunately, that's not something you want to start with from the very beginning. The safest way to go about this is start with a stud, give it some time to heal, typically about six to nine months, and then you put the ring on the finger or on the ear, sorry. When you get pierced with any piercing with a ring, typically you have a lot of problems. And the biggest problem you do get with this piercing is you get a big bump either in the front and the back of it. And this thing takes forever to go away. And typically the only way it does go away is for you to go back to a stud. So my biggest suggestion to you is start your piercing off with a stud, let it properly heal. And once your piercer tells you it's okay, then it's safe to change it to a ring. That's the best way to go about it. The second fact about a conch piercing is one thing you can definitely do before getting the piercing or getting a ring or anything like that in general is start with a cuff. A cuff is pretty much a ring with an opening that you can just slip onto your ear and take off. They have many, many different designs, so I highly advise you try the cuff on and sometimes you might like the cuff over the piercing and you might not want to actually get the piercing because that kind of serves the purpose or that kind of uh, fulfills what you were kind of wanting in the first place. So try the cuff. You might love that and then because you love it so much you might want to actually get the piercing or you might just get the cuff and you might love that and you might not even want to get a piercing. Both are okay. At the end of the day you're just going for the look that you're going for and then the cuff is totally fine. So try the cuff and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Third most important fact about getting a conch piercing is definitely, definitely, definitely start with a stud. Particularly one with a flat back. The reason we do this is because it's the best jewelry for healing. We've tried this many times. We've done hoops, we've done curved barbells, we've done studs. The industry knows that the stud is the best way to go about it because it just heals properly. It's straight, it's snug, it fits, it heals the best. And honestly, studs look great too. So a lot of times people want the hoop really badly, but whenever they put a really nice stud in there with a nice design or a nice like look that kind of goes with everything else, it actually looks really nice. So if you're getting a piercing, always start with a stud and who knows, you might fall in love with it and I might want a hoop in the first place or you have the option for both. So try a stud, let it heal properly and then switch to a hoop. The fourth most important fact about getting a conch piercing is letting your piercer know that you eventually want a ring. This is very, very crucial because piercers need to know where to place the piercing and where to pierce the piercing. And the reason this is important is because the conch ring needs to fit properly. If you forget to do this and they put it in a random spot, later on when it's time to go shop for a ring, you're gonna buy a ring and you're gonna try to put it in and it's not always gonna fit how it's supposed to. Whenever you pre-plan for a ring, they're gonna put it in the exact spot it needs to be so that way when it's time to purchase a hoop or put in the hoop, it's gonna fit like a glove and you're gonna be super, super happy. Are you thinking about a hoop in the future ever? Yes, definitely. Okay, perfect. I'm just marking that whole spot right now. I did it in that spot so when I look at you, like it is going to be at a part of the ear where it just shows, you know? Mm -hmm. And then also a little bit more to the edge, so then you can find a ring real easy. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I, you know more than me, so. <laughs> yeah. We've had many instances where people come in, they've had a conch piercing and they want to purchase a ring. It just never fits how they want it to because they've never had the piercing kind of pre-planned for that ring. So do yourself a favor, do your piercer a favor, let them know that you want a ring and let them know maybe which ring you want particularly. And with that size and that style, they can fit it to fit your ear perfectly. The last fact about getting a conch piercing is be prepared to not sleep on it. This is a point that I mention in every single video because I kind of want to drill it in people's heads because I don't feel like they understand how serious it is. If you sleep on your piercings, you're going to have many, many issues and it's going to prolong the healing process. And sometimes it's going to bug you so much, you're just going to get over it, you're going to take it out and you're going to just say bad things about the piercing because it was your own fault in the first place. Do yourself a favor, prepare for it. If you need to buy like some kind of pillow, something to kind of prepare for you to not sleep on it, maybe get used to the other side for a couple days before you actually get the piercing, just be prepared not to sleep on it because that's going to be the biggest issue of why your piercings are not healing. So don't sleep on it guys. If you like this video, click the video right over here to keep watching more. <laughs>